After Yajuj and Majuj, there will be swallowings of earths, swallowings, large lands that will actually disappear under the earth. They'll, they'll, be, they'll be gone, either into the water or they'll be destroyed head over heels. There'll only be dirt left. Earthquakes in the east and the west and in Jazirat al-Arab. These are massive earthquakes. The whole world will feel them. One in the east and one in the west and one in the Arabian Peninsula. And the Prophet ﷺ tells us in the hadiths, سَيَكُونُ بَعْدِي خَسْفٌ بِالْمَشْرِقِ after me, after Prophet's death, there will be a swallowing of earth in somewhere in the eastern region, eastern to Medina. وَخَصْفٌ بالمغرب, and in the west of Medina, somewhere there. وَخَصْفٌ فِي جَزِيرَةِ العرب, And there will be also a swallowing of the earth in the lands of the Arab, the Arab Peninsula. So Allahu A'lam what will happen in that time. And there will be righteous people also go in those landslides, if you like. There will be righteous people but that's because, listen to what the Prophet ﷺ said. He said, إِذَا أَكْثَرَ أَهْلُهَا الْخَبَثِ One companion said, Ya Rasulullah, the earth will swallow the people, even if among them there are righteous people. He said, yes, إِذَا أَكْثَرَ أَهْلُهَا الْخَبَثِ If its people start to do too much immorality and indecency and all of those things. And we, we, we have that today. You can see a lot in the eastern regions, you can see it a lot in the west. You know, homosexuality and prostitution and all those other khabath. People no longer believe in God and so on and so forth. Then there will be smoke. Smoke will come and it will fill the whole sky. Dukhan is a type of smoke that will happen. We don't know much about it other than there will be a smoke. This is another major sign. Allah said in the Quran, which means wait until the day comes when the sky will be filled of clear smoke. Everybody in the world will see it. Mubin, everywhere. Yaghsha nasa or yaghsha nasa alim. Yaghsha nas meaning the smoke will cover all the people. Yaghsha hum ajma'in. It will cover all the people of the earth. Hada alim. This will be a day of torment. And this is also one of the signs of the closeness of the last hour. Also among the major signs before the end of the world would be, as we said last week, the rising of the sun from where it sets. The sun rising from the west. The sun rising from the west. The world, the universe is moving in very peculiar way now. And some scientists, as I said last time, say that it will reach a plateau phase. It will just stop. And when this happens, everything's reversed. So the earth is rotating this way and then it will be rotating the other way. And the sun will look like it's setting from the other side. A reverse situation of the universe's crunch. That day, no more repentance will be accepted by anybody, as we said. And finally, there will be something called Adab, the beast. It will come out of the earth. Allah knows what it looks like. nas. It will speak to the people that you have disobeyed your Lord. The Adab is a beast. And it is mentioned in the Bible as well, the beast. And the sign of the beast is mentioned in the Bible. And the Quran mentions, uh, that when the fate has been sealed, we will cause a beast to come out from the earth. This is the beast. The beast that walks the earth. A dabba in Arabic means anything that walks the earth from an animal form. So it walks the earth. And it's called a beast because it doesn't have a particular human form. Nor is it known to be of any animal form that we know of. And Allah says, تُكَلِّمُ nas." In the Quran, it taught, Allah SWT tells us that تُكَلِّمُ nas." It will speak to the people with speech that you can understand this beast. Some of the descriptions narrated is that it is a huge animal. Some say it will come out of the earth the authentic hadith is that it will come out of the earth in three days. But what they say is the first part of it, the first third of it, will come out. It will be huge, like a mountain. The second part and the third part. So it's larger than a mountain, some say. Some say that it has the features of different beasts. So it's not one particular form. And it will be carrying with it the stick of Sulaiman. And it will 
wipe the people in two different colors. One is a dark color and one is a light color. In one hadith, which is authentic, it says that a person will be able, to, this is towards the end of the world, towards the end, a person will be able to tell who the disbeliever is from the believer, just by looking at them. And Allah tells us in the Quran, تُكَلِّمُ الناس أَنَّكُمْ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ it will speak to the people that you lied about the verses of your Lord. It talks to the disbelievers saying, you have lied, you have de denied them, you have disbelieved in them. Basically, it's telling him that today is this separation. And there is no more repentance at that time. This is also evidence, no more repentance at that time. And it comes after the Dajjal and the rising of the sun. Allah knows best. But this is the indication of the hadith and ayat. It's a clear distinction. It tells people who, what you are, the good from the evil, and you'll be able to tell the difference between these people. And it will speak to the people, and Allah would have sent it like a messenger, but not a prophet or a messenger that we're talking about. It's like a different type of messenger. This is another sign. The world will know about this beast, and it will go to everybody. It will travel the whole earth, and people will hear it. At that point, the signs of the last hour have almost ended. That's it. There's no more other signs that tell us about its coming, except the signs of destruction. The signs of destruction. The rumbling and the earthquakes. This, these are the signs that once they happen, that's it. The world is, is going to end and be destroyed. It's going to get worse and worse until it's finally completely destroyed and vanished. Step by step, knowledge will diminish and fade away on earth. When we talk about knowledge, we're talking about beneficial knowledge which Allah has sent down. And since that knowledge will vanish, my dear brothers and sisters, everything that represents this knowledge and the sources of this knowledge will also be lost. It will be lifted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So finally the Qur'an itself will be lifted. This is also in the hadith. Towards the end of the world, after Isa alayhi salam dies. After. And after Al-Mahdi comes. There will come a time where people will know nothing of this deen. And there is also an authentic hadith of Prophet ﷺ. Ibn Abbas tells this hadith on the Prophet ﷺ's tongue after the Prophet ﷺ's death. And he said, when their people will have no knowledge except one word, they will remember it. They learnt it from father, from grandfather. What is that word? La ilaha illallah. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah. And the companion to whom Ibn Abbas is speaking to, the Tabi, he said, What is this going to benefit them? What is this going to benefit them? Is that all they know? He said, It will save them from the fire. It will save them from the fire. Ibn Abbas says this. There is no more other knowledge except that. And these final people will live the majority of these people will be like that. The Prophet ﷺ said also, he said, Medina will remain inhabited during the days of the Dajjal. And during the time of Isa السلام, son of Mary, Ibn Maryam, until he dies and is buried there. Yani Isa السلام, will be buried in Medina. Then it will be destroyed. Medina will be destroyed. Kharab al-Madina. You'll find this hadith in Muslim and also in Ahmad, Sunan Ahmad. It's authentic hadith. And the destruction of Medina, as our ulama say, it is not because the people will actually break it. It's not physical destruction. But destruction, Kharab al-Madina, means the knowledge and the religion in there, there will be no longer people representing it in there. They'll either die or would have left. Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu said, I heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa say, a rider will go around Medina and say, there used to be many Muslims here. It will become history. This is in Sunan Ahmad. At the end of time, towards that era, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa tells us about a very strange man who will rule the earth, an Abyssinian king, will rule the earth. 
His name, as the Prophet ﷺ describes him, is It's a name and a description. Dhusawaiqatain means the man of the peculiar looking shins. They're thin and they're short. Dhusawaiqatain. He will come from Abyssinia, Al Habasha, Ethiopia. And he will destroy the Kaaba. Not the Medina, the Kaaba itself, the holiest symbol of the Muslims today. He will destroy the Kaaba in order to steal its treasure and clothe covering. What I understand from that is the covering they have on it today. The Kaaba is the ancient building which was built by Ibrahim alayhi salam and whose foundations were laid by Adam. This is the hadith of the Prophet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. That is reported from Kaab al Ahbar that this Suwaiqatain will first emerge at the end of Isa alayhi salam's time. Allah will send Isa alayhi salam at the head of a vanguard of between seven and eight hundred. While they are marching towards this Suwaiqatain, it is a special army of about 500 800 special, which Isa alayhi salam will take with him to fight this Suwaiqatain. Allah will send a breeze from the direction of Yemen which will take the soul of every believer. Only the worst of people will be left and they will begin to live like animals or copulate like animals. Ka'ba the line who said, at that time the hour will be close at hand. Now that we know this, the Suwai Qatain will come and grab the Ka'ba and break it brick by brick and no one will be able to stop him. No one will stop him because there'll be no one to stop him. Either he'll be so powerful, but Allahu A'lam about that. But what the hadiths indicate is that there will be no believers on that time. When that happens, my dear brothers and sisters, and the Kaaba it is destroyed, therefore no believers. Muwahid. You heard the hadith earlier that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send a breeze before the Muslims reach the Suwai Qatain and every believer in another hadith Prophet said every believer Muwahid who is a monotheist believes in only one God and doesn't make any shirk will die will die peacefully from this breeze and only the disbelievers and the tyrants and the criminals will stay on earth the Kaaba is destroyed the symbols of Islam are destroyed the Quran has been lifted there is no more Islamic knowledge What's left? Ad dunya The world. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ad dunya mal'una. The dunya is cursed. Mal'unun ma fiha. Everything in it is cursed. Illa dhikrullahi wa ma wala. Except for the remembrance of Allah and whoever are the allies of the remembrance of Allah. So the beasts and creatures are allies of the remembrance of Allah. Because Allah says in the Quran, there isn't anything on earth other than the humans and jinns, except that it glorifies in the name of Allah, but you cannot understand their praise. And in other verses in the Quran, Allah talks about mountains and trees and all that that glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The point is, Allahu A'lam, what will happen to the animals? Will they die before the end of time? Allah knows best. But the point is, everything on earth is cursed that does not follow the allegiance of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the final sign before the day of, of, of destruction is the fire. And now, Rasul tells us, you find this hadith in Sahih Muslim, you find it in Bukhari, you find it in almost all the books of hadith, six books, major books of hadith. A fire will come out. From where exactly, we don't know, but it comes from towards uh, the, uh, the northern part of the, of the world. And it will spread through the world. Could be acid, could be something from the earth, volcanic eruptions, only Allah knows exactly. The point is it burns. And the people of the world will run away from that fire because it will take over their homes and lands. It's no longer livable. Can't live there anymore. Is it a meteorite that will hit the earth? Allahu A'lam. Only Allah knows exactly. The point is it's now. And it will gather the people, Rasul said, it will gather the people to their gathering. Mahsharihim. Some scholars say this means that it will gather them to the place where they will be resurrected on a day of judgment. That's the place on earth. Some other scholars say, no, it will gather them together 
in a place, in one place, and that's where the world will end and they'll all die there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Then the first moments of the destruction of the world begins.